at Rama, no. Come on, Lucifer. The time has I hate come. it. Oh, now you summon two. Mm, I don't know about that. Can Odin stop being confused? My Amrita Soda here. All right, he here's my plan. Here. Um, he here is the gist. We dug near you. I'm trying to think here. Yeah, dug near you. Um, I might ha I'm gonna pass your turn because I need more turns. I'm gonna use fire on this thing. This way, I can use the last calamity on. Oh, but then you won't be weak to ice. Hmm. It's a problem. Yeah, all right. Well, well, either way, I want to get rid of one of you, so it's fine. Get rid of this thing. Oh, you live. Very surprising. Let's go with a Rad Tempest. Hopefully, we'll kill the ice core. I don't know what happens if I leave the cores out, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. I have Enduring Soul on Dohalim, so like if. If I die, then I'll be able to get back up. No I'm only doing this because I had I hadn't used endure. Oh wow, I missed. It doesn't matter. I only have one turn. What happens now? Oh, you use them to attack. Interesting. I'm assuming this pierces. They may. Oh wow, that one shots. All right, you definitely don't want to leave them out for long, then. All right, good to know. Old dark. Oh dear. Defense at max. Interesting. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm bringing you back in. Let's go. I don't think Fionn is doing much to help. I, I love him. He's great. But he's not really doing much in this fight to help. So I'm, I'm gonna just uh, go with this team. Okay, so you don't want to keep the cores out at all. You want to kill them ASAP. Good to know. I'm glad I found out. Now I know. Also, Dohalim still has an Enduring Soul, which is nice. Yo, what's up, Shinku? Welcome to the stream. Oh, it's going great. We're about to finish the uh, main story of uh, SMT5. Going amazing, I would say. Gonna end, gonna end the main story of this phenomenal game. Well, we're not ending the playthrough, but the playthrough is almost over. This is most likely the final stream, because I really think we're gonna find the Mimon, but we might not have time for the two super bosses. Oh, hey. Odin died. All right, suddenly Lucifer just decided to get like really powerful. I need I need Odin. Every time he says that, I just think to myself, oh, 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 wait. I know I'm confused, but why would they do the animation if that didn't work? That was so weird. Stock included? Feels like a waste of a Magatsuhi turn, but I'm gonna do it. I feel like it's necessary. I kind of hate that I did that, not gonna lie, but like... Oh right, that doesn't lose your turn, of course. Full of idea. That definitely was a waste, but like, eh. I can build up the Magatsuhi. Oh, you're an idiot. I didn't expect Lucifer to be dumb. Uh, Odin. Man, you're getting so low. You just don't want to die, Lucifer. Oh, his defense is at maximum. That's why he's taking forever as well. His defense buff is almost out, though. Duly noted, we do not want to let Lucifer keep his cores out for his turn. He will just... Go all out on us with them. Hey, Hamabarian. You are dumb because I blocked this. I have so many demons that block light, and I'm grateful for it. Ass. We're, we're, we're gonna have to start getting our strats up again. Ass. I wish you had charge, but you do not. I'll do- I'll live with what I got. Let's 
Scar to get extra Maga too, he. Oh, Mega Dolan. I guarded at the perfect time. Also, that, I got a dodge there. Nice. I got two. He's filled. Love it. Love it. Now we unleash it. I don't think this will kill you, but you'll be really close. I'm sure. Definitely Murakumo right here. I'm going to start skipping the animations because we've been here for a pretty long time. Go near. All right. Yeah, you're going to die like probably in the next turn. I would wager. I have a dark gem. There's my dark gem. There we go. Love it. You, um, health thrust plus three. Nice, nice. Another, actually, yeah, yeah, Murakumo. I forgot you resist, uh, physical. Oh, 1180. Love it. Or please get the kill. You're not gonna get the kill. But it'd be really nice. Man, I noticed you haven't done the Magatsuhi charge. I guess you just don't do that. Interesting. I mean, I, I don't really mind, but... Your Magatsuhi charge would be really scary if you did one. Alright, we're really close to killing you. It's not gonna happen, though. Oh, well, not if you do that. Not gonna lie, it's very annoying, but I'll live with it. Alright, we need we need Fion back. Let's go. This just got very, very bad. Gotta make sure I get these cores out of here quick. This should work, right? I think Frey Kugel will work. I'm gonna pass your turn to be safe. Uh, let's go with, what's your higher? Bufubarian's higher? Let's kill the Fire Wind first. This should kill. Oh, you live. My goodness. Uh, let's kill you. Oh, I got a crit. Thank you. Crit really helped me there. Uh, I'm gonna charge. No, I'm not actually. At least you're still in the red. Let's charge. I'm gonna use a fire gem to ensure that Fion gets the kill because that that falling star move is not what we want. That is dangerous. We do not want that falling star attack. Die. Good, good, it died. And I guess we're going to. I'm gonna charge you actually. Because you have Dime Rita. I really hope you don't use Dime Rita again because we'll be here forever. Oh, there's that. I hate that. Alright, good. You don't use, uh, the thing. Oh, hey. Okay, I'm Rita Shower. Go down. Gotta make sure everyone's charged up. I really don't want you to use Dime Rita again, though. Just keep you in at this point. We're not really in a healing issue. The problem now is... You know what? I have three of these. Use one. Healing is not the problem. Now the problem is that Lucifer keeps using Dime Rita. The time has come. Don't do it again. Alright, defense max is fine. Alright, good. I'm not even going to wait for a Magatsuhi turn. I'm just going to try going for the kill now. Um, am I? No, I, I should wait. Your defense is maxed. I'm definitely not going to kill now. Let's concentrate gem with... Actually, charge gem. I'll concentrate. You don't have a magic you think you that'll won? work. I was wrong. Arc 3 is still strategy, and the darkness is the only action RPG. Okay, so there is an action game. I didn't know there was an action game, but... I wouldn't have been against the third game. I figured the, the three packaged together would all be strategy. I figured if there was going to be a different one, it'd be one of the PS2 ones. I just didn't know which one. Would have been... Okay. 
would have been weird if uh, Arc 3, the one that's packaged with the other two, is like a spin-off with being in action or something. Man, this is, uh, this fight's getting really annoying now because, like, just get Lakshmi in here. Alright, now new problem. I gotta hope I can kill you guys before you even think of using that attack. Fire jam you. It's ice gem. You. I have to use my charge. I do this and I won't lose all my turns, but like I feel like that's just stupid. I shouldn't do that. Just use an item. I'll still get the kill. You still died. I really don't want to. I want to use my charges for when you are vulnerable. And I do not want you to use Dying Rita again. That would be really annoying if you just went for Dying Rita. You're alive. Wow. Oh, it was my last fire gem. End of Darkness is the second of the PS2 games. Oh, okay. There's a, I know there's a PS2 game called Twilight of the Spirits. I didn't know if it was the first or second one. I just knew it existed. Seriously? Come on. Lucifer, now this is just getting ridiculous. You were a cool fight, but this is just getting a little too much. I still don't think this fight is bad, but this is just getting ridiculous now. For real. Your turn. Go. I really don't want to use Diamrita, so I might just go for the Magatsuhi. Which you have. They're close, but not that close. Let's just go with the Magatsuhi. Because, like, I don't want you to use Diamrita and then be stuck at square one again. Like, that'd be really, really annoying. I could debilitate. You don't have Dakunda. It's a waste, though. At this point, I already used the Magatsuhi. I might as well stick through it. Do I have a Dark Gem? If not, then your turn is worthless. Don't have a Dark Gem. I do, actually. So many gems, I don't know what I have and don't have. I'll still get the uh, Murakumo. The Dohalim, at least. You're so close. Let's do this. You don't have Dakunda, so I think Debilitate works fine on you. This fight is fine, by the way. I still think... Oh, okay. Good dodge, good dodge. I still think we're fine, though. You didn't use Dying Rita, I'm fine with that. As long as you didn't Dying Rita. Oh, crit, nice. Yeah, we, we got this now. I'm not even gonna bother with uh, the thing. I'm just gonna go for the kill here. This was a good fight. I just really feel like him having Dying Rita and doing the defense max thing just make it drag a bit. Still a good fight though. Great way to end it. I wish the the track, the music was better. Yo, we're level 87. Not bad. Great way to end the game though. Fighting Lucifer is cool though. Like that's a really good boss to fight as the final boss. It's very fitting. Again, I didn't fight Lucifer in Nocturne, but it would have been great if I fought Lucifer. Lucifer is such a like a big part of the SMT series from what I'm hearing, so it's really nice that he's the final boss. Hey! All right. I'm assuming that's the last boss. Let's just enjoy the ending. Magnificent, my children. With this, the world will surely.
I'm in the void. Oh, hey, guys. This is probably whoever's path I followed. I would wager. Oh no, it's Kagatsuchi. He's gonna use his full Magatsuhi attack or whatever it was called and wipe me out and kill me. The new ruler has remade this world into one governed by a multitude of vastly different gods. The people offer their faith equally. Choosing a life of diversity and building an ever-changing society in the process. But this life has no doubt proven difficult for some. Those lacking convictions of their own. Those seeking answers. Are these the four keys? Or the three keys, rather? If so, very neat. Those who think for themselves and walk their own path have come together to achieve a great many things. Now that's Kansu. But these irreconcilable differences in ideology have naturally given way to immeasurable conflict. There's Odin. I beat the game with an Odin of my own. Good times. The new ruler now looks upon a world plagued with strife. However, his sadness aside, he holds firm to his beliefs. To choose is far better than to be chosen for, and responsibility should fall to those who earnestly wish to choose for themselves. What's this music so suddenly dark? That's the end? That's it? How do, how do I even rank that? I can't. What was that? That's the end, that's it. Okay, well, I mean, like, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. I really didn't expect much, uh, I didn't expect much, uh, from the ending, but, like, that was just, I, I don't even know what to say about that. There's nothing to say. But yeah, I guess, I guess I talk about the game now. I guess that's it. Music from the first trailer. Hmm, I don't remember the music from the first trailer. I only watched the first trailer, I think. I didn't watch any of the other trailers after that. But anyway, Shin Megami Tensei 5, it's done. The main story is finished. We're we're not quite done with the playthrough. I want to go back and find all the Mimon. I also want to um fight Shiva and Demi Fiend. I think it's just those and, and fight Zeus. We have to beat Zeus. We should we should do Zeus like after the Mimon. So we'll go find the Mimon, we'll go fight Zeus, and we'll fight Shiva and Demi Fiend. Again, I don't think we'll be able to fight Demi Fiend today. Maybe Shiva, depending. Because I have a few Gospels I want to just use on the Demi Fiend. But anyway, there you have it. Shin Megami Tensei V's main story is finished. Uh, let's just talk about the game, I guess, because the credits are rolling. But um, music, phenomenal. I always start with music because it's really easy. Music is very subjective, but this game's soundtrack is phenomenal. I love all the battle themes. I love all the boss themes. They are all amazing. They are great. Um, I know it's the same composer as Persona. Nocturne had a good soundtrack. This game's soundtrack probably beats it out, but amazing, amazing stuff. 
Uh, the soundtrack? I don't know. I feel like the world themes, the overworld music was a little hit or miss. There were some good overworld themes, but like, the second area's theme wasn't that great. It was pretty meh. Some of the overworld music was very hit or miss, but either way... Um, either way, great soundtrack, great OST. The battle themes are easily the best part, and that's like mostly what the music is. It's great work. It's just great. It's all great. Music is phenomenal. Um, presentation looks good. The game looks really good. Uh, again, for a Switch game, this game is only on the Switch, so the fact that this game can even run on the Switch is impressive. I will say there are some performance issues. There's a couple of lag I noticed in my playthrough, so uh, it's not perfect, but it, it gets the job done. The graphics don't look ugly. It looks fine. It's not like the best looking game ever, of course, but like it, it looks fine. It gets the job done. So, I don't have much to say on that. Um, what else? What else? Gameplay. Ton of fun. Honestly, gameplay is like all around perfection. I have a few gripes with the gameplay, but um, I love the gameplay of like, you know, hitting. I love the press turn system. I think that's what it's called. I love the system where you like hit a weakness, you get another turn. You could pass your turns. You could really strategize against bosses. Like if you have a certain team of demons and you're like, oh, this demon doesn't attack very well. Let's have them pass their turn to gain an extra turn. And, like, getting extra turns from crits and weaknesses. It's all just great. Great turn-based strategy and stuff. Like, you get to really strategize for bosses. It makes the bosses a ton of fun to fight. Uh, so that was really good. Uh, on that note, the bosses were really fun in this game for the most part. There were some that were, like, just meh or generic or not really much to write home about. But this game's difficulty was, like, relatively balanced, I'd say. I really enjoyed the difficulty of this game. I played on normal and I got a good... I got a good... Uh, balance of difficulty, I feel. There was the occasional boss that was, like, annoying. Honestly, I think the only boss I disliked was a side quest boss, and that was Kansu Ra. I can't think of another boss in this game that I was, like, I did not enjoy fighting. Sure, I had trouble on Yakumo. I did have trouble on Yakumo, but, uh, I wouldn't say I didn't enjoy fighting him. There were some things about that fight that I found annoying, but that's just typical RNG stuff with, like, getting crit and stuff from Deathbound, but... The only boss I actively disliked was the Kansu Ra fight. I did not like doing that fight, but, uh, great stuff. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I can't think of any bosses that were bad. I also just, the gameplay was, like, perfectly balanced throughout. The only gripes I can think of with this game, there's one. The whole missing thing is stupid. I hated it in Nocturne, I hate it here, and I feel like I'm gonna hate it for all eternity in SMT. It just makes, like, zero sense to me how if you miss an attack, you lose a turn. I guess it can make sense if you're using, like, a single hit. Like, let's say you use, I don't know, Murakumo. I use Murakumo, I lose a turn. I hit one enemy, I get one miss. Really annoying, but fair. It's annoying, but it's fair, I guess, in SMT standards. However, when I'm using a move like Elastic Calamity or Wrath Tempest, if I hit, like, two out of three of my attacks and I still lose a turn from that, it's still stupid. In that, it's even more dumb in that respect. I don't know. I really just hate missing and losing a turn. Oh, hey. I will say, I did like how the credits were. Oh, that's it. Okay. I will say, I really liked how he was walking towards the uh, Kagatsuchi thing. It looked like Kagatsuchi. I'm not sure if that's actually what it is. But, um... I did like how that those were presented, but that ending really could have used work. Oh, hey, I could just fuse Lady Nua. Abdiel? Fallen Abdiel? Okay. Saving clear data. Preparing to, clear, preparing to save clear data by loading the clear data, you'll be able to start a new game. Plus, beginning doing so, you'll be able to carry over certain elements. Okay. One in one saving since clear data is special type. All right, so I'm going to want to save this over a different slot. But anyway, put that in slot number three. Look at that. Love that. Oh, that's like Nocturne. Nocturne had the little, um, the, it had like six little circles to indicate what you were on. I'm going to stay on this screen and talk about the game before we load it up. I want to, I want to say some stuff about it, but, um, same rules apply to the enemy. That's a good thing. I mean, that's one way to look at it, but at the same time, I would rather make that trade off. I feel it's just really infuriating when you get a miss and you just have to, uh, you know, it's typical RPG stuff. You never like to miss in your RPG, and the fact that SMT has a penalty for missing is really lame. 
I know it's the same for the enemy, and that is that makes it less bad, but it doesn't make it completely not bad at all. It's still pretty annoying when it happens. And you may say, it's been an SMT forever and stuff like that. Well, it's bad in every SMT game, basically. That's just my opinion. It didn't ruin the gameplay, but when it happened, it was frustrating. It, it's like probably the only negative I can think of with the game. Uh, another negative with the game, it's SMT related. When a demon dies, you have to like switch them in. That's also very annoying. But you get Revival Chant, which kind of nullifies that. Revival Chant is a really good skill. Without Revival Chant, that'd be a bigger issue. It is very nice to have that move because a demon dying, having to switch them in, having to get through that setup again is really annoying. And the boss is constantly hitting you or doing something to you. So that gets very annoying. And I know that's that's typical SMT fashion, but I still hate it. I hated it in Nocturne. I hate it now, basically. But... As for SMT5 specifically, I can't think of any gameplay flaws with the game. The game was basically good all the way. Uh, there was a time or two where I didn't enjoy it. I didn't like the level spike in Taito in the very beginning. The very beginning of Taito had a level jump that was a little unforgiving, but it got better once you started doing the side quests and grinding up. But once you first entered Taito or Ueno, it was very, very... It just jumped in levels. I didn't like it, but... You know, it happens. Um, let me see here. But yeah, uh, another thing, I don't know. I'm probably spoiled by other games. I kind of wish this game had an autosave. I didn't wipe out too much in the later half of the game. I wiped out a lot in the beginning and the mid game. But um, the, the, the later game, I didn't wipe out as much. But I kind of wish this game had an autosave or like, not more ley lines. I feel like the game gives you enough ley lines. I feel like all those save would benefit because I'm spoiled by games like like Ease 9 and Tales of Arise and like all the newer games that have auto saves. And I know SMT thinks like, oh, giving the player too many save options is difficult. I'm here to tell you, Atlas, it's not difficult. Having to redo progress does not make the game difficult. That just makes it very tedious and makes me not want to play the game if I have to redo like an hour of progress from not saving. Again, I didn't really lose a crazy amount of progress, but it could happen. You never know. Anything can happen. You can get crit into dying. You can get a miss a couple of times. Literally, the possibilities are endless. So, I just think, I don't know, an autosave would be neat, but it's not a huge deal. It did get better later in the game, but it's still really annoying when you get really unlucky. Um, All that I have left to talk about is the... Um, I just want to say that SMT5... The demons were really neat. The, the demon choices we get. I loved everything about this game. This game is like probably one of my favorite games of all time. I don't know if it I don't know if it reaches top 10. I need to sit on it for a bit and think about it and maybe do another run or something to see if it reaches my top 10. It's probably in my top 15 though. This is like one of the best games I've ever played. Uh definitely my second game of the year, right under a rise. Um Demons look great. I love what they did with the demons. The lore is nice. The world was really fun to explore. I loved exploring for Mimon. I loved doing the side quests. The side quests were interesting, especially the ones where you get to kill like certain demons and branch them off and stuff. That was really good. I loved siding with certain demons and killing the other one and stuff and making that kind of choice. Very, very neat. Kind of gives the game a little more life, if you know what I mean. But um, yeah, the game was just a ton of fun to play. And yeah, finally, I'm going to talk about the story. Now, I don't want to go too hard on this because, like, SMT is not really known for story, so I feel it's a little unfair to just rant the game on story when it's not meant to be a story-driven game. This game is easily, this game did a really good job of, like, the world building. I know SMT is into, like, the lore and the mythology of the demons. That was all very good. And, like, the, the world building of the netherworld and stuff was really good. However, the story itself does suffer. But, again, SMT is not known for story. Um... The same as Nocturne. I feel the same way as Nocturne as I did with this. But, um... When I reviewed Nocturne, I said how the first half of the game was pretty boring in story department because nothing was happening. It was starting out, and I felt like the half, first half of the game was frustrating. Um, Nocturne was really, like, the first half was, like, meh because, like, get, dying, getting game overs for really dumb reasons as well as the story not being anything was really annoying. But then the second half of the game picked up because of the whole reason thing and the whole ideologies that were conflicting each other, which was really neat. Um, this game is along the same vein. The gameplay was fun all throughout. The gameplay never really faltered in this game. The gameplay was consistently fun, except for the area in Taito where it, where it jumped in levels. 
But uh, the game was consistently fun. However, the story in the beginning was really non-existent. There was nothing going on, you know. I thought the setup to like, oh, two different Tokyos was interesting. There was really nothing going on until like... I would even say the story doesn't start going until like... I don't know. Um, until like you confront Abdiel. I would even argue that up until then, nothing's really happening. I feel like the story is really a slow burn. And even when the story gets going, it's not that interesting. But um, I really don't have much to say on the story. It's just like, it's just there. It's fine. I did like, again, I really liked how SMT, I love SMT having you choose different pathways and choose your route and choose who you want to side with. It is really good. Um, I don't know if I like it more than, you mind Joy Cons? I'm trying to, it doesn't even matter, honestly. But um, I, um, I do like it. However, I don't know. Part of me probably prefers it in Nocturne. I feel like Nocturne, it was a lot, um, a little better. Not that it was bad in this game, but I don't know. I, I think I really just prefer Nocturne a little bit in that ideal, in that realistic choice. But this game was fine. I feel like in this game, it's just like, I feel like what really got down to me was like the characters, like the characters not being interesting enough because like I had such high hopes when I saw trailer of this game, I had high hopes like. I was like, oh, they're probably going to do better with the story in this game. Like, Nocturne did nothing with the characters. This game will probably do better with the story. But, um, this game really let me down on the character department. Miyazu was barely in the game. We don't talk about Miyazu. She was barely in the game. She was literally, like, in the fairy village helping people out. And then the side quests were, like, she had, like, a shortened life or something like that. And they wanted to, like, keep her alive for longer by fusing her with Kansu or something like that. She was, like, non-existent. Um, Yuzuru wasn't really much, there wasn't really much to him other than the fact that he wanted to protect Tokyo. They were just basic archetypes, which is fine. It's fine to have archetypes, but they didn't really do much with them. Tayo dying and then reincarnating. Tayo dying, the Tayo death scene and, and what was her name? Itsukushima or whatever. Um, Itsukishima, those two dying did not care, could not care less. Like they did. They really just let the characters die and didn't do much. They, like, didn't do much to invest me in them. So, like, that was disappointing. And it's it's unfortunate because, like, seeing these characters, I had high hopes. I come off of games like Persona and stuff. I thought these characters were going to be a bigger deal. And they did try in some departments. I could see them trying. Like, I didn't really like Daizai either. But um, they did try in some departments. Like, I guess a little bit. Where, like, you know, they tied in Daizai with Abdiel. But I didn't really... I didn't like Dazai, so there was literally nothing they can do with that. Um, tying them in with people. The characters I did like, actually, were probably Nua and Yakumo. I really liked them as characters. Specifically, Yakumo was pretty interesting. Again, he's not, like, the amazing character, but as far as this game goes, he's probably my favorite character. If I had to choose one, I'd probably say Yakumo is my favorite, and I guess Nua, because they're kind of like a, a link in a way. So, uh, And again, I would have sided with Yakumo and Nua, but then I thought of the logic of, you know, if we're removing the throne, the world doesn't really change. I wanted some kind of change. But yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, to sum it up, I don't want to like... I, I, I'm kind of sounding like all over the place. But to sum it up, the story was a slow burn. The first half was definitely worse than the second half. The second half got interesting with the whole Nahobino thing where everyone had to become a Nahobino. But it didn't have... I don't know. It didn't have that same impact as Nocturne did. Nocturne wasn't much better, but it just felt more, it just felt more like, I don't know, I can't really pick the word. It felt more satisfying to side with someone in Nocturne and get their ideal world or getting your own world. It felt more satisfying to make the world your own way in Nocturne than it did in this game, for lack of a better term. But um, yeah, I don't know. The story was fine for what it was, you know, it, this is a gameplay focused game. It was a fun game to play. But, um, it just disappointed me. I expected more in the characters, and, uh, that didn't deliver much, but, uh, SMT's not known for that, so I'm not really holding it against it, but it is disappointing when I expected them to do better with the characters. I'm hearing 4! Four. 4 does a lot with the characters, so I'm hoping I like SMT4 a little bit. So, uh, we'll see how that goes, but yeah. I watched your previous playthroughs on YouTube, and the story didn't click with me. Oh, SMT5? Yeah. Um... I was pretty, um, I was pretty, um, reserved about how I felt about the story. I was pretty reserved about it. I didn't really speak much about it. 
it was interesting. Like, you know, having two different Tokyos, having these different branches of Bethel, like, fighting against the demons, it had a really interesting build-up. Like, it really was... It really was interesting. Like, I did like the build-up they had going on, but they just didn't deliver in a good enough sense. I feel like the payoff at the end wasn't that great. It was fine for what it was. It was interesting. Very reminiscent of Nocturne, which is what I loved. I did like how Nocturne did it. So, it was good in that vein, but comparing it to Nocturne, I think Nocturne was a little better in that department. But this game wasn't bad. It did what it did. It was fine in the story department. There really isn't much to say on it. It was just, it did, it did good with what it had. It's not bad, like Nova said, but it's a slow burn. Yeah, I really just feel like it's a slow burn. It doesn't get interesting. If it does get interesting, it doesn't get interesting uh, till probably like 60, 70% of the game, I would even wager. But yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. I think that's about it, honestly. And, uh, like, there's not really much to review. Also, what's up with my Joy-Cons? They won't press the A button. Um, that's about all I have to say on that. But, yeah, uh, as a review, I would just give this game, like, an 8 out of 10. 9 out of 10, maybe? Nah, probably 8. 8 to 8.5 out of 10, somewhere around there. I would say 8. It was a really fun game to play. I enjoyed playing it. I enjoyed exploring the world, looking for Mimon. I did ex enjoy a little bit of, like, the ideologies and stuff. But, again, I think I enjoyed Nocturne's ideologies a little more. But, uh, you know. It was great. I enjoyed this game. It was, it was a ton of fun to play. And we're not done. We still have a little bit of stuff to do. But this is the main story's closing. And I think I enjoyed it a little bit. But, uh, I think I'd give it an 8 out of 10. I think that's fair. I don't think 8.5. I think I'll stick with 8. Um. And that's generous. I, I feel like that's generous considering that I look for stories in RPG. Like, considering that I look for stories in RPGs is saying something. Because, like, I look for stories and the fact that I'm giving this game an 8 out of 10 is generous. Like, that just means that the game was overall really fun to play. The world exploration and, like, doing everything outside, like, in the overworld and stuff, exploring the world, that really lifted the game for me. The fact that I, like, let it slide with a mediocre story and stuff so you know it's really saying something i don't know maybe when i replay the game I'll, I'll reduce it to like a seven or something but for now i think an eight out of ten while i came off this game fresh and stuff like that i think eight out of ten is fair and this is it was good it was a good game so don't let my story criticisms knock you guys down because like outside of that it's like basically perfect and everything else with a few minor issues but yeah, uh, for you guys watching the main story, I'm going to end this recording. I'll start a new one for the post game. But thank you all for watching SMT5. If you want to stick around, all we're going to do is find the Mimon, go fight Zeus and Demifiend and Shiva. So there's not much to do, but there's a few more videos if you want to keep watching. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.